Glassware is just not my thing. I like the, the human looking squash more than this. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a haul video from Riverside Antiques Decor and more here in Bedford, Indiana. I went a couple weeks ago and put out the shop with me video and then I did the haul video and then some people said, why didn't you get this? Why didn't you get that? Oh, you need to go back and get this. You need to go back and get that. And since it's local in my city, I decided to go ahead and go back and get some of those things that you guys told me that I should go back and get. So I got those things and more from Riverside Antiques and more. So let me go ahead and show you what I got. Well, the first thing that I got is the wooden canister set. Now, I thought that maybe I wouldn't get it just simple because it didn't have like have a chicken on it or fruit. Well, it does have fruit on it, but like cherries on it. Uh, this one is a nesting set. So what that means is they fit inside one another. So you can, you know, nest them, so which will be great for shipping. So I can nest them one inside each other, sort of like a nesting doll in, in, in a way. The cool thing about these, if you have the counter space, is you can display them, you know, nested one on top of one another which looks rather, rather cute. Let me go ahead and show you the um, design that's on the front. It's got like a little cruet with some fruit and some leaves. So I have the flour, the sugar, the coffee, the tea, and the salt and pepper shakers that go with it. And they're all made in Japan. Now this set, when I went in, it was $10.99. It was on sale for $10.99, I believe, if I can remember right. But when I went in, it was on sale for even more. It was 20% off of $10.99. So, you know, it, sometimes it pays. Sometimes it pays to wait. Although, I will have to say, most times it doesn't. Because when you go into an antique store and you are you think, oh, I'm going to come back and get that later, there it's always gone. So, this time, fate was on my side. And I was able to go back and get this set. See, I have them all nestled inside of the flower canister. So these will be available on a live sale very, very soon. Uh, the next thing that I picked up, which was requested for me to go back and get, is this beautiful Fenton ruffled glass compote, I believe. Now, it is black milk glass. It's beautiful. Perfect for Halloween. I could see you putting those little black and... No not black and red, Misty, black and orange, black and orange little peanut butter candies. Aren't those called Mary Janes? I think that's what they're called. But wouldn't that look cute inside here? Yes, it would. So I got this, I'm thinking, Misty, you don't like glassware, but it's black and it's Halloween time. Do you want to keep it? I don't know. No, probably not. I'm going to sell this. So this will be available in a live sale very, very soon because, you know, I don't need any more Halloween things. I got enough. In fact, I'm going to be uh, lightening my load a little bit with the Halloween things because I've got like seven bins full and I, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with everything. So I'm gonna be, look, look for Halloween things being trickled in very soon because I'm going to start selling some of them. But this will be available in a live sale very soon. Now, what else was shown that people told me to go back and get? I don't think anything. Oh, well, kind of. I kept talking about this little Morton Pottery cat. Every time I go in there, it's just sitting there looking at me. And, and when I went and bought it, it was the day. It, I decided that today was the day I was going to bring the little kitty cat home. Now, people have little um, cotton balls in here, but... I mean, you could put whatever you want to in his little, you could put an air plant in his rear end. You could put cotton balls back in there if you want to. You could put pencils in there. You could do whatever you want to with little kitty cat, but he's very, very cute. He's in great condition and he's going to be available in a live sale soon as well. This was another thing that I was in the original Shop With Me video from there, and I didn't get it, but then some people had commented on the videos, oh, I kind of like that little thing. I do too, so it was there when I went back 
and I went ahead and got it. And it's this little wooden Native American totem pole. It says it was made by American Indians. At least that's what the stamp says. Maybe it is. I don't know. But it's just a little souvenir piece. I liked it. It's just a little something that you could just add to your decor. It just adds a little pop of color. It's just fun. I think that's an owl. And I don't know what, what that creature is on the bottom. Is it a man? Is it a cat? Does it have whiskers? I don't know. But it, I think that's that's an owl on the top. So I got that. And I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I may end up keeping it. I may end up keeping it. All right. The rest of the things, let me just scan through here. I think everything but one thing. Yes, everything but one thing is going to be for sale. And I'll show you the one thing that I'm going to be keeping. Here is the box. It's a little post-it note box. Well, first of all, the box is adorable. It's in the original box. But then when you open up inside, there are these little postcards, little post-it note. This one says, a little light on the subject. Oof, but my canister's over. And then on the back, they're made by Current. And on the back, it's like a little postcard where you can write. So there's that one. And then there's the little telephone that says, hello. And then what's cooking? So maybe you could put a recipe on there. And then thoughts from my rocking chair. And what's the other design on here? Time for a coffee break with that little coffee grinder. And is that it? Oh, and wishing or no weighing my thoughts so all of those different designs is that it i think that's it i think that's all oh no no misty thinking of you with a little urn vase on there so i got these because i will use them as package toppers and then the box says have you seen the other fine current product products available and you know current still sells they have a catalog where they do still sell cards and gift wrap things. So I'm going to use these as package toppers. I don't remember how much they were. I think it said in the video. I think if you, and I will link the video, the shop with me video, the one that I just did and the original one and I'll, I'll link all that in the description so you can go back and watch those if you would like. All right. The other item that I am keeping is just cool. Now it has some issues. It's a little cracked. It's a little worn, but I'm going to use it for the holiday of Halloween season. I'm going to use it in my decor and it is this green uranium glass uh, uh, fire frog. It is green glass but it does glow. It is uranium. Now it has cracks in it as you can see right there. Big crack like it has been dropped and it has a crack in it but I don't find the green ones very often so I love it and I'm I'm going to di display it. I mean, it's just green glass so I can display it even without the light source behind it and it'll still look pretty neat. So I'm going to keep this and I want to say I got this for under $5. I like it. So those are the two things that I am keeping and the rest of the things, well, I take that back. These, I'm going to, I'm going to keep these things, but I don't think that you'll care as much. They are some price books. Now I say this, don't pay, I call these price guides, but do not pay attention to the prices that are in these guides. Just use them as a way to learn a little bit more about something like this is Flow Blue China. And it will tell you some history about some Flow Blue, some of the patterns, useful terms and exclamate explanations for Flow Blue it gives you some of the patterns um, and the with prices in these guides the prices are variable from year to year and month to month sometimes so i basically got this just for myself to do a little bit of research and then i also got this one on blue ridge dinner dinnerware this is identification and values but you know we don't we don't pay attention to the values because it changes often but um, just, just to kind of go through and look at through and learn a little bit more about these patterns 
and whatnot and how it was made and where it was made. So it's just a good reference book to look at. So I got those and I want to say that they were like, well, it was in the video, $1.99 or $2.99 or something like that, which is amazing. A very good resource that I like to use to find price guide books is called thriftbooks.com. And you can buy all kinds of books. It doesn't have to be antique pricing guides that you can buy novels and and books to read at, at your leisure uh, but they are it's like an online used bookstore and they do free shipping I love it I love it I, I I'm obsessed with these price guides because I don't know I just feel like I want them all but thriftbooks.com is a great resource that you can find them for a very good price all right I got this linen it is a little tea towel little vintage tea towel with a little anthropomorphic squash. We're gonna say he's a squash. Kinda looks like a squash to me. Does he look like a squash to you? He's holding, well he has a chef hat on and he is holding a ladle and a cookbook and he's got boots on. But it's a great little tea towel, just a fun little anthropomorphic human formed piece of squash. So that will be available in a live sale too. Um, and then I got this little amber glass compote. Uh, and amber glass is a very popular thing right now because of the fall. People like to use it in their decor. This is stuff that I don't normally buy because glassware is just not my thing. I like the, the human looking squash more than this. But uh, this was, a, I couldn't pass it up. It was, it was marked $12.99 and they marked it down to $3.00. So I know that I can make money on this reselling it on eBay, even at $3, but I think I'm going to offer this in a live sale. I am compiling a autumn themed live sale. It's going to happen very soon. It's in excellent condition. So this will be available very soon and also kind of an autumny fall looking piece. It was just interesting to me was this tree stump pitcher. And it has this beautiful little bird as its handle. This little tag needs to be cut off. But it's, the, it's a tree trunk. You see? And it's got another little bird coming out of the little hole. It's in excellent condition. It's marked Japan on the bottom. I don't know. I just thought it would be a really nice. You could put some fall flowers in it and put it in a fall decor. I just liked it. I liked the green with the brown. It's cute. I liked it. So I got that. All right. And then also for this, will, this will, now this will be really good for Halloween is this green enamel kettle. It is in excellent condition. It has the wooden bale handle and I like how the handle is kind of curved up. It has the lid. There is the inside. Just a really fun piece. It, it just that color is Halloween. That's a Halloween green color if I ever saw one. But this will be available in a live sale as well. Okay, and then I got these little piggies. These little nuggets. They're they're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just two little stoneware pigs. They've got green backs on them. Just little stoneware pigs. Look at their little faces. Aren't they cute? I don't know. I just, this is the kind of, I just like this stuff. I like figural pieces. It's just what I like. And I also like the skunks. These are adorable. They're very, very cute. This one's holding a, I don't know what you're holding skunk. He's holding something purple. Let's, what do we want to call that? A berry. Do you squirrel? No, you're a skunk, not a squirrel. Do you eat berries? But I love their eyelashes. You know, skunks are pretty cute little animals. They're a little rotten because, you know, they, they stink, but they're so fluffy and cute. I know of a gal who rescued skunks and they're adorable. They're adorable, but this is little salt and pepper shakers. This one does not have the stopper in it, but this one does, but cute little fellas. They'll be available in the live sale. And then I got birds, salt and pepper shakers. Everyone likes birds. I like that this one, this one, I like this, the stature of this one. He's kind of like, 
He's got one wing up and one wing to the side. Like he's really thinking about swapping something. Like he's gonna swap something with that wing. Look at his face. He doesn't have his stopper. And then this one's just pecking at the ground. But they both have a very determined look on their faces. You know, I always look at the faces. But they're in great condition. I like the coloring on them. I don't know. I like me a good shaker. I also got these cobalt blue ones. Now these are very tarnished. The tops are very tarnished, but I still liked that cobalt blue color. I thought that they were still very striking. So I went ahead and picked them up. I did pay, they were, I think $5.99, they were half price. So I paid $2.50 for them, which is a really good price for cobalt blue shakers. This one's a little bit more, um, has some better patina on it or worse patina, depending on who you ask. Uh, but I just, I liked them. I had a good feeling about them and they were on sale. So I got them. What else did I get? Oh, I got this little uh, makeup or cosmetic jar. I just liked it. Just a little vanity jar. <gasps> I about dropped it. I about dropped it on my skunks. Did you see your life flash before your eyes? Because it just about did. This is a glass makeup little compact or cold cream jar. Let me turn it around here so you can see. The fancy pants couple just just standing along the creek side. I don't know what's going on. If that's somebody in a boat over here, I don't know. I can't really tell. Uh, but it has a brass lid. The rim around it is brass. Just a cute little, just a cute little compact. And I think I paid, I mean, I think I get this for a pretty good price too. And then the last two things that I got from there are really neat. I like them a lot. The first one is this craft strawberry preserves jar with this chopper. Now this did not go together. No, Th this went with something else. It, I bought them together, but this went on another, another little base because this would have had a, like a pop off lid that would have said craft strawberry preserves. I'm going to, I am going to resell it together since that's how I bought it. But this plunger, you can see it doesn't even go all the way down. So it's just kind of for looks, but this, the craft strawberry preserved, I like the graphics on it. It's an advertisement piece. I love it. And you could use this way that they designed these, you could reuse them. So after you got your jelly out of it, you could use it as a drinking glass. So wasn't that nice of craft? It was a double duty piece. This would have went on a little squattier piece and it would have chopped. You see the chopper doesn't even go all the way down. But if you wanted to display it with it on there, it does look nice and the chopper does kind of stay down. So you can do it that way. So I thought I'd just go ahead and I will sell it together since that's how I bought it. And then we have this little decanter and I think that this is pretty. The thing that I like about these decanters when I buy them is, let me take the tape off of the lid is that the stopper itself is all glass. Sometimes some of these decanters, and I'll show you the decanter in just a minute, this will be, sometimes they'll have a plastic bottom and that 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 means they're not as old. When they're all glass, there's just something about that sound. It's just fancy. That's a little miniature decanter. I don't know if it was, maybe it was for oil or vinegar. I'm not sure. And it says that it was made and you're not gonna be able to see that in a million years, but it was made in France, so it's fancy. But I liked it. I liked the little diamond plate design on it. I thought it was really neat. I don't know anything about it yet. I'm gonna see if I can fit, find out what exactly it was used for, but I thought it was neat. And I liked the little stopper on top of it. I don't think that this would have been for cologne or anything, but you never know. France is known for colognes and perfumes. I don't, I don't think that that's what it's for, but I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can find out. That was what I got from Riverside Antiques. I love going in there. It's so nice and the prices are very affordable. So if you're ever down in uh, Southern Indiana, make sure that you do stop in and tell them I said hi. Tell them I sent you your way. You can say, hi, Lisa. Misty sent me because Lisa is the lady that owns it. She's very nice and she will be glad to help you out with anything. 
But that's what I got and these things will be available very, very soon. If you are interested in any of the things that I have shown and they have not been on a live sale preview video, you can send me a message at thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com and we can work out a price with shipping. So that is this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that you do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. You know that I love comments. Comments are always welcome. Nice ones, nice comments. But let me know what was your favorite thing that I found in there. And let me know if you're glad that I went back and got this. Because I was pretty happy that it was still there. It was a very highly, highly messaged item. That I can't believe that you didn't get that, Misty. Well, luckily it was still there when I went back. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.